Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video I am going to test and review and give my opinion of Filicube PLA, excuse me, HT PLA Plus. Now I purchased this filament with my own money, it was not sent to me, I have no affiliation with Filicube, I have never communicated with them. I bought this a while back for a project I was planning and never did it or I can't, in fact I can't even remember what it was. So it's been sitting on my shelf for about six months and I have never opened it. Let's get it out and have a look at it. I have the um, GTEC A10M ready to go to print us some stuff with it. And um, let's see what we got. Nothing else in the box. Let me grab a knife and let's open this up. This looks like the only one I have here. Does it have a... It does not appear to have a, a Ziploc. You just cut it open and the bag is junk. That's okay. Not every roll of filament needs to come with a, a Ziploc bag, although it is nice. Terrible knife for that. And inside the bag you get the roll of filament, a desiccant bag, which is not really big enough to make it worthwhile keeping. So all that's going to go in the garbage. And then we have our roll of black filament. Only have one set of tie-downs, holes for it. Uh, 3D printer filament, high temp PLA plus, print temp 190 to 230, so my normal of 210, can you see that? My normal of 210 will be fine, and print bed of 50 or 60, and I normally use 50. They even give you an annealing temp of 80 to 130, and their website, and proudly made in the USA. So, and their website address is on there. Does the box say anything else? Um, proprietary formula, anti-clog, diameter consistency, satisfaction guaranteed. That's really about all it says. So let's go over, let's go over to the printer and let's do some printing with it and see what we think. And um, this filament is going to be featured in my um, hammer drop test along with three other brands of PLA+. Plus. So we're going to do a little impact testing with it too. Be right back. Okay, I have the Filicube PLA Plus, excuse me, HT PLA Plus loaded onto my GTEC A10M. And just real quickly, for the record, for those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, this is a dual filament GTEC A10M. I have upgraded it with an SKR 1.4 turbo board. It has Creality dual gear extruders. Uh, it has a purge bucket on it, which I won't be using today. I have the 3D Touch, GTEC 3D Touch bed leveling sensor on it, and I'm going to be printing on a Creality Magnetic Spring Steel PEI sheet with a little hairspray for some extra, extra sticky goodness. And um, it also has one of the touchscreen boards on it. I typically run it in Marlin mode to get the um, to get the full mixing ability on it. So anyway, that's the printer we're going to be using, and let's do some printing. Okay, the printing is done, so let's take a look at the things I printed. First, here is this little three tau three wise skulls from Thingiverse that I um, like to print because it seems like it gives a really good idea of the fine detail you get. This was printed at 0.2 layer height and um, really gave quite a lot of nice detail. There aren't a lot of gaps. In fact, there aren't any gaps in the curved areas. It, um, it printed it really nice. 
I have had some filaments that leave large, well, not large, but leave gaps in some of the curved areas. This did not, this printed really nice. This is a something I found on Thingiverse, and it is the front of a fan. And um, recently I came into a possession of a number of these Be Quiet 140 millimeter fans. And I kind of got an idea of like a fume extractor or a fan or maybe one of each. And this is going to go on the end like that. And then this down here lets me um, connect it so it can tip and turn. And I'm going to put a box at the bottom and a rechargeable battery in it. And I um, thought that might be pretty neat. And you see, I took this off as is. There is some fine stringing in it. I kind of expected that with a design like this where there are those four different tower-like objects. So, but nonetheless, I think still think it printed it nice. That fine string will be very easy to clean up. And I'm looking forward to making that, possibly even making two of them. One is a fume extractor and one just is a fan, both um, recha with rechargeable batteries. And um, then another thing that I'm thinking about making is a is a handheld rechargeable air blower. Now I have a corded one, one that I bought, and I just absolutely love the thing. I use it constantly, but I don't always have electrical power nearby, so I thought that I would try and make a um, a cordless one. And this is the little turbine blower blades for it. Now, I printed this at a 0.1 layer height because the author over on Thingiverse suggested it, and um, it printed really nice. I'm very pleased with the way it printed, and I'm looking forward to putting that together. I'll probably make videos of both of those if I put them together, and they work or you know, if I put them together and they fail spectacularly, that makes a good video as well. And the last thing that I printed was um, the little part for my impact testing, because I am going to include this, this um, high temperature PLA Plus in my impact testing. Now, I would also like to do some heat testings of these PLA Plus filaments as well. But I haven't quite worked out a, um, a methodology for doing that yet, and I want to finish my impact testing first. So, there you have it. That is the Filicube PLA Plus High Temperature Filament. Looking forward to testing this stuff and using it for my projects, and um, yeah, we'll find out how well it works. I'll put links to everything below. The, um, the link will be an Amazon affiliate link, but I did purchase this filament with my own money. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.